financing or a $2,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Tiguan during the Volkswagen 75th Anniversary Sales Event. You could win $5,000 and so much more. Bring it on. <laughs> the Two and a Half Men March Deadness Sweepstakes. Weeknights at 7.30 on KTLA 5. Right now at 10 from Double Double to Double Trouble. It's the end of an era in the Bay Area as one in and out closes its doors. We'll explain. And we are seeing windy conditions, not just at the beach for a lot of Southern California today. We could see some thunderstorms this afternoon. More on that coming up. Thanks, Casey. Easter right around the corner, but you may want to think twice before letting a bunny hop into your household. The adoption warning you'll want to hear. Good morning. We're here at Pasadena Humane where they are hosting a kitten shower. They're looking for supplies, volunteers, and fosters. This all for kitten season. All of all the details coming up. Plus, uh, the delusion within our newsroom, how a certain celebrity may resemble a certain entertainment reporter, and the comparison that a certain rock star is getting as well. The doppelganger entertainment report. Straight ahead. Doing. He's I'm bringing, really excited for this. Bringing the group chat right. onto television. Oh, so there was a, a group chat. Moment. It was the thing we were talking about, we're talking about the oh. show, and then. Am I in the group chat? Yeah, know, but I, it was on Teams. Oh, I don't do Teams. Oh, I know. Teams. You're in it. Don't worry. There's a whole plethora of messages for you to check. Good morning, everyone. Bringing you into our combo right here. I need Top to of the 9 o'clock hour. I don't know if you're on the... Oh, I might Sorry. not. Ooh, this is ooh, ooh, a little awkward. Awkward. Oh, awkward. <laughs> you know what? I was in it, and I haven't seen it either. <laughs> <laughs> so we're don't worry. We're going to bring everybody to the combo. I don't even know how to check combo. my schedule. So um, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just know what I'm supposed to be here, I think. Uh, all right. We're still seeing windy conditions along the coast. This is a live look at our Huntington Beach camera. Notice how the sky is getting a little more ominous. There's a shot that a lot of us will see some showers or thunderstorms today. It's 58 currently at LAX, 53 in Burbank, 59 at John Wayne Airborne, and 53 in Ontario. And here's a look at what the afternoon will look like. Increasing clouds for sure, but notice how we do see shower activity and some of those snow levels uh, pretty low down to about 3,500 feet. Temperatures will be below average again today. 62 will be the high for Ontario, 64 in Long Beach, and 60 in Santa Clarita. And now to Annie Rose Ramos, who is live for us. Uh, you still have the hat, though, in Huntington Beach, where you've been holding on to that thing all morning. <laughs> Casey, now I have hat hair, so I can't take it off, essentially. I am just cornered into the hat for the rest of the day, to be clear. But no, it is, you know, you were mentioning the gusts a little bit ago, and it ha it isn't that windy anymore. It was a lot windier earlier this morning, but then you get that, like, gust of wind that will almost take your breath away or make you lose your balance if you're kind of walking or running, and that's what we've been hearing from folks who are out here. But as you can see behind me, this wind not keeping anybody from coming out to the beach and enjoying what a beautiful day it is. Check a look. There's, like, a group of kids out there. We even saw a family sort of braving that, win that winter cold water and getting in there just dipping in their feet because we know there's some hazardous conditions and so people lifeguards are recommending you stay out of the water for a little bit to, at least for today but these conditions aren't just here in Huntington Beach. We have been noticing them and experiencing them since yesterday throughout our region. Take a look at this. These are some overnight video that we have uh, looking overnight where you can see the wind whipping around in Seal Beach and in Long Beach. Images showing how street signs and palm trees are moving around with all that wind, especially some images there of PCH and Main Street and Seal Beach and then over there in Long Beach. Just driving around this morning, there's a lot of debris, palm fronds, maybe even topple trash cans in the streets is something you want to be aware of as you're driving out and about today because as we've been hearing from Casey all morning long we know that those conditions are not going anywhere at least for today so people though coming out to enjoy the brisk walk bundling up a little bit to bear with that wind and take a listen to what they had to say I actually came out of my house and didn't realize forgot the wind factor part and I'm always cold but I'm actually doing okay this morning. Are you keeping up a brisk walk? Yeah, I think just like walking fast and the sunshine, like the sun's pretty warm so I'm I'm not freezing but yeah, I realized I'm like I'm the only person without a jacket. When I was a kid, I grew up and there was a avocado tree in my parents backyard. It would sway with the wind yeah. and so I climb up the tree and just feel the whole tree swaying back and forth. I just love that. 
All right, take a look here at the water. There's some white caps there out there at Sunny Huntington Beach, just off of the pier. Not keeping people from jumping in, though. We know that there's going to be some hazardous conditions because of this wind, because of the elements, and that's why they're saying, you know, if you're out there swimming, if you're surfing, you might, might want to make sure you're near a lifeguard or even just stay out of the water at least until this all calms down. But as you can see, everybody out here enjoying it. They say it's a beautiful day. Come join us. All right, reporting live from Huntington. Beach. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. In and Out Burger closing its only restaurant in Oakland today. The closure is due to crime in the area and follows some other restaurants that have recently done the same. This In and Out uh, first ever permanent closure of a store outside of some locations in the restaurant's early years that no longer exist. In and Out was founded in Baldwin Park in 1948. Wow. Kitten season underway at the Pasadena Humane Society. The nonprofit holding a kitten shower event today as adorable <laughs> kittens look for their forever homes. KTLA's cat mom and residence, Erin Myers, is live in Pasadena, where a famous kitten lady is hosting a special shower. What's going on? Well, she has ears on. <laughs> I did. I found ears, so I did put them on because if I'm going to be talking about kittens, I think I should have kitten ears on during this. But yes, there is going to be an author. She is a rescuer. She's also an educator. Hannah Shaw, she's kitten lady. She will be doing a presentation shortly. That will be happening here behind us in about 10 minutes. But I want to bring in Dia Duvernet. She is with Pasadena Humane to talk to us a little bit about what's going on today. Now, fill us in on what the kitten shower is because it sounds so exciting, which it is exciting. Exciting, but it's also for a very good cause. Well, it's for these little guys. We have thousands of bottle baby kittens who will be coming in um, in the next few months, and we're trying to encourage people to foster. We need help in uh, bottle feeding these little guys because they don't have their moms with them. This one doesn't even have a name yet, and if you'd like to name it. I was thinking earlier, I think this little one looks like maybe a Buster or a Rocky, one of those two. So those are, those are my two choices. All right, well, there's a sibling, so maybe we can have Buster and Rocky <laughs> with these two. Uh, but, you know, we are asking people, in addition to considering fostering these babies, to um, help us with the supplies we need because we provide our foster families with all the supplies and medical care they need to foster so KMR I don't know if you've ever heard of that kitten um, milk replacement we need ba basically kitten formula and all sorts of supplies that we need to to give to our fosters until these little kittens are old enough to be uh, spayed and neutered in place for adoption so we're having a kitten shower and also with uh, the kitten lady workshop so people can learn everything they need to know about how to foster and how to care for these little babies. And then talk to, what, to you personally, what is it like to have a pet? What does that mean to you to have one of these babies be a part of your life? Well, I mean, I have a little Shipu named Sushi, and she's eight years old, and uh, she's just uh, the most wonderful thing. She makes me feel so good. She's always so happy to see me, and she's just uh, a joy to have around and to be a part of my life and to get me out in the community, walking and meeting people. When I moved to Pasadena, um, five years, a little less than five years ago, it was right before the pandemic. So during the pandemic, getting out and walking sushi was one of the ways I got to meet my neighbors and, and make some friends. So it really helps with um, helping people not to feel so socially isolated. Pets just enrich our lives in so many ways. They can be life changing for sure. And I know kitten season obviously is a huge deal here in Los Angeles, but every day there is need for shelters for rescues. Talk to us a little bit about that. I was hearing that puppies, larger dogs, and kittens are really um, in need of fosters right now. Exactly. We have seen a lot more large dogs coming into shelters, probably due to housing restrictions. Um, many people are not able to have large dogs. And so we are starting to try to place our larger dogs into foster homes for temporary respite because it can take them longer to find adoptive homes. So it's great for them to get a break out of the shelter and then to for us to learn more about how they are in a home and how they interact with the family in the home. Are they great with kids or not? Do they like other animals or not? So we need
need fosters for for the uh, for the larger dogs. And yes, we're starting to see more litters of puppies than we have seen um, in recent years. And we're thinking that maybe that was due to the pandemic effect of uh, not a lot of. Uh, clinics were able to do spay neuter surgeries during that time they were limited to just really essential emergency services so perhaps that's why now we're seeing even more animals uh, uh, having litters and puppies coming in so we need help all around cats kittens puppies so um, all, of the above. all of the above so adopting fostering volunteering in other ways we have lots of volunteers today helping us with this event um, or donating if you can donate um, kitten supplies today, especially for our shower, that would be wonderful. Thank you for talking to us, Dean. I hope this little one finds a home as soon as he's old enough, which I'm sure he will. He is darling. And if you guys would like to learn more about Buster and all the animals here, you can go to PasadenaHumane.org. And on that, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you guys on adorable Buster's little face right there. Mm. PasadenaHumane.com, you said, not org, right? PasadenaHumane.com. Dot org. Dot org. Pasadenahumane.org.